Alrighty guys, so I've been getting a lot of comments about um, how do I have a full-blown train horn setup on a mid-sized sedan. Well, today is your lucky day. I'm going to show you a pretty much, it's a little difficult to do this one-handed only because everything here is pretty much heavy and I need two hands for me to maneuver this. So at least I can show you step-by-step -step on how I put this all together. So only thing is I keep this air setup inside the car usually during the winter time and i like to have a little air hose with the little tire with the little tire piece so this way if i want to fill up air or or do something with the tires or any way shape or form i can have it so first thing is is you gotta have some way to get power back here now pretty much what this is this is a jumper cables all pair of jumper cables that i cut and I have the negative side going to the frame of the car. And then the, the positive side is I pretty much had to tore apart half the car, remove the seats, and I've gone under the seats, under the carpets, and through the firewall right here. Now that you have to be a little ingenuity, have a little bit of ingenuity. See if I can show it right here. And yep, there's the wire right here. So that's the positive wire going t from the battery to the Anderson plug, which is right here. And so yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Now, usually when I'm, if I'm just driving around here, I usually just have everything disconnected. The only thing I have in here is just the bell in here, because that's very fun to play with. So now let's get to it. So first things first is hooking up all these uh, airlines, which I got two airlines right here. I got the Y, which I just lost it, but um, yeah, so yeah, let's uh, let's get started. So that's pretty much how I have my trunk, usually like most of the time. Got my E-Bell right here, got a couple of airlines, and I keep the mains power, which is right here. I know it looks sketchy, but it's really easy as an electrical quick connect, where if I'm done, I just unplug it, but when I need to, I can just plug it right in. Now, what's what I like about my setup is everything here is completely removable. So compressors, air tank, and of course my big cooling fan because these compressors cannot fill 38 gallons of air at once without overheating. So that fan right there definitely helps out a lot. I know sometimes Vio gets a bad rep, but in actuality, if you keep any compressor cool, these, these compressors can last a while. So these are your typical run-of-the-mill 444C compressors. Now I did a good explanation on how I built this thing in a separate video. So I can link that down below as well. And um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so now that the Y is in place, like right so, uh, this is just your this is half inch right here. That goes to the ball valve right here, which I usually have it off. But if I'm going to be doing runs, when I have my full setup, is that's when I open it and have it open to the whole system. So since I'm about to be doing that, so now let's talk about the Y for a minute. Now, if you're adding supplemental tanks like what I have here, everything does not have to be half inch. Like in this case here, this is a three eighths air inch airline. Of course, I have a couple adapters so I can have my garden hose adapters to it. The only thing that has to be half inch is everything that is leaving a tank going through and out to the horn it has to be half inch or larger so um yeah three ATA lines and pr so pretty much i can have one tank going long ways like this and then the other tank be sitting like this as i'm about to show you in a second but first before i put those in i have to hook up the airline going from here going through the back seats and pretty much right here so Let's hook that up right now. Okay, so I just ran, so I just have the half inch airline sitting right here. I'm gonna run it through. So let's hook that up really quick, which I have it going right here. This is my mains, oh shit. This is my mains right here. So I just gotta hook this up right here. Now you can pretty much do this before you put both air tanks in, in the trunk. I can fit two 11 gallon air tanks. Those are the tanks that I get from Harbor Freight. Of course you have to do a little bit of modifications and just snug that right up. And there we go. 
now now that that's all hooked up now let's hook up the air tanks in order to make room for the third air uh, air tank well, i guess in this case i should say the fourth because it's right here you know, all you pretty much have to do is just move the seat forward a little bit and it'll fit in there very snug right here it'll fit in here very snug and then after it's in you can just move the seat back i'll show you in a second and um yeah so these two air tanks are in there and now let's uh let's hook this guy up right in, right now of course i have to uh do it off camera only because that this thing's pretty heavy so just give me a moment Alrighty, now that the air tank is in there along with the three quarter inch airline right there now i'm gonna be putting this right up here well this is actually very easy to do i pretty much have this wired pretty simple i just pretty much put in my cup holder and then this right here just gets plugged into my cigarette outlet and then this just goes oh come on let's see if, there it is and then i just pretty much have to plug put this in but that i i put i hooked that up on the solenoids going through the back window and i can do that in a minute so um for those of you who actually want to see how this button is built and how it's all set up a good friend of mine jordan grades he did a very good explanation on how to assemble the button so i can link that video in the descri description down below and um yeah let's uh let's get into putting putting the roof rack on which is right here so what's nice is that before you do that if you're going to do it solo it's always nice to have these clips like this so all you have to do is lift it up from one side and then you sh and then you would be able to put this side on and then just slowly lower that where it's resting on and then the rubber feet i will put the rubber feet on before you of course put that on so let's do that now all righty now that the mount is in place here's how it looks when it's on top now it's it's for the most part pretty level so now all that is pretty much left is hooking this up and your air so to do that i pretty much have it going through the window because i don't want to drill any holes so let's lower the back window and let's grab oh, there it is let's grab this guy let's zoom out a little bit let's grab this guy and then let's put it up in here it's a little difficult to do one-handed but i was able to do it and then this is the three quarter inch airline. And I pretty much just hooked that right onto here. All right, I gotta do this the other handed. And just like that. And then if it's gonna be raining a little bit, you can put a, a towel or something on your back window. So that way, and it, so, so that's why you don't get any rain in here. But as far as how to raise the window, I just have it going up like that. You don't want to have going up too much or else you'll be uh, putting too much strain on this. But right about there is good. I don't get any air leaks, so. And then all that's left now is to put a horn up there. Let's do that now. Alrighty, and there you go. That's pretty much how she looks like when she's all put up. Now what's nice is that I well, accidentally lost two of the um, rubber feet that goes on here. So instead of getting a whole new one, I just wrapped uh, rubber tape around so doesn't scratch the car and this is just gaffer, gaffer tape on all the corners so it's pretty much where i have the mounting setup now this is a two-stage solenoid setup which means i have to have two solenoids and this is your uh, quarter inch gas valve i like to have it right here because this gives gives me the best quill without all the bells sounding all at once now i don't have this on super tight because i'm about to uh take it off but you don't but when you're doing runs, you only need that bolt and you pretty much need two, uh, two nuts to hold it on, the two diagonals. But if you're gonna be doing a long road trip, I would probably recommend putting, putting all four on. Now it doesn't have to be super tight, but it has to be on there pretty snug because I'm using the gasket right there to seal. And like I said, I'm using a, a two-story, two-stage solenoid setup. So here's the button that I use. And as you can hear, you can hear two clicks coming from the coming from the solenoids. Now, half stage, press it down halfway, like that. That one clicks on, and then if I press it down all the way, like that, that other one clicks in too. So if I press it slowly, both of those are open. Right? Versus if I just press it in all the way at once, both of them click on all, all simultaneously. 
So, and that's getting power directly from the cigarette outlets. And this is the switch to turn on and off the compressors. So if I turn it on, you can hear both compressors are running just fine. So, let's shut that off. And then lastly, I have my three quarter inch air hose. You know, it doesn't need to be three quarter inch, but I like to use three quarter inches. And that just goes through the windshield or through the back window. And as you can see, it's just coiled up in there and hooks up to that tank, which then that is my surge tank. And then that comes from the main compressors. That is a half, come on, focus, you fuck. Thank you. Now that is just a half inch uh, airline going to the surge tank that feeds a surge tank and then the surge tank is getting air pressure from the tank three quarter inches and that goes directly into here to, to the manifold so hope you learned uh hope you learned a thing or two about this thing and how i made this whole setup completely removable so uh, if you have any issues questions or anything feel free to comment down below i do read your answers just I do read your comments, so just let me know if you have any questions.